I used to get approximately zero questions about impeachment when right. I was out in Iowa, New Hampshire, and other places. Now it is on people's minds. How can it not be? It's a very serious thing. But I also think it's something that's different from the party political process of, of choosing our president and uh, choosing our nominee in the Democratic Party. We've got to be able to handle both of these things. How does it change the equation in the Democratic primary? Tough to say, and uh, I think it's one of those where you just got to do the right thing and then watch the politics do whatever they're going to do. But I think at the end of the day, and I've always felt this from day one, uh, this election can't just be about the reality show surrounding this president. It's got to be about Americans' everyday lives. When it's about your everyday life, I think that's when we win, because we have better answers for everyday life. You're a new generation guy. Mm -hmm. If you are president or vice president of the United States, would you think it appropriate to have your son or daughter serving on the board in a foreign country that has sensitive national security issues at stake? I'm not going to speak to competitors, family members. I'm not saying competitor. What if it was President Buttigieg and your son or daughter? Would you allow them to serve on a board of a country that had sensitive I would hold myself and everybody in my administration to the highest standards. And uh, at the same time, I think getting sucked into this conversation now validates the president's uh, belief that he can throw out a shiny object and change the subject. The president of the United States has confessed to wrongdoing in front of the entire country. Either there's going to be a consequence or not, and we've got to deal with that.